Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 26th of August 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to raise your consciousness, step out that spiritual closet, remember why you are here so that you can take charge of your destiny in this lifetime. Now this week we're going to be using Carl Gray's Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really, really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And as a little thank you for that, if you're around next uh, Saturday, the 31st of August, and you're in the southeast area, North Kent, then um, I am hoping, weather depending, so fingers crossed the weather's nice, um, at 9.30 in the morning, meeting in the car park of um, Oxley's Wood by the cafe, because um, I'm going to be doing a free guided meditation, um, hopefully in the gardens at Oxley's Wood. Um, it's free for anyone to come along. Um, there will be a photographer there um, because as some of you may be aware, I'm redoing my uh, my uh, headshots and uh, all the photos I use on my website and everything. And this is the last one. So uh, there will be a photograph taken of the meditation circle, me doing the meditation as well as some individual shots of me. But that won't take away from the fact I will be doing an actual guided meditation. So you won't even know the camera's there. And of course, don't forget, I am uh, running uh, the first of the Angelic Reiki workshops, Angelic Reiki 1 and 2, on the 14th and 15th of September. And I would love so much to be able to teach you this beautiful um, healing modality. You know, Archangel Metatron said it's the healing of our time. Um, and that will be in person in Dartford. So without further delay, let's get on to the cards and see what they've got to say this week for us all. So, what does everyone, oh, okay, we'll go with that one then. What does everyone who's watching need to know for their eyes good? We commence in the 26th of August, 2024. What does everyone who's watching need to know for their eyes good? We commence in the 26th of August, 2024. Okay, so the cards have made themselves known this week, uh, which we always love. So we have Lord. Take charge with authority. We have eagle, see from a higher perspective. And we have elder, move beyond ancestral, excuse me, whilst I get my glasses for this one, patterns, move beyond ancestral patterns. Although you would have seen that without me having to put my glasses on. Um, okay, so what the uh, cards, the angels, the universe are saying to me this week is that this is a week where you really do need to um, take charge of who you are, where you're going, what you are doing. This is, this is the week where you can go, okay, this is, um, you know, I don't need to be dictated to. I don't need to be steered in a direction I don't want to go in. That is not for my highest good. And they're encouraging you to actually see beyond what is in front of you. Because if you can get a higher perspective of what is being demanded of you, where you're being steered, whether that's by family, peers, um, friends, media, government, ex whatever you want. See it from a high perspective and see where you are being steered, you are being guided to. And if you're not happy with that, then you have the power to take charge and move in another direction. As long as it's for the highest good of all and done in peace, light and love, then there is no wrong way of doing this. But you need to see it from a high perspective to see what exactly is going on um, around the situation, because it may not be what you think it is. So it may be that where you're being guided, where you're being steered to, 
is not actually the right direction for you and you go, whoa, hold on a second, I think I should be going in this direction. Or it could be, you know, you've been thinking of going in uh, um, someone else's been direction, another, another direction, and then there's another one and you look at the high point and go, oh, actually, the choice between these two, I'm going with this one because that is for my highest good and for the highest good of everyone around me. So this really is stepping into your authority. You are an autonomous being. You choose what happens to your body, to your soul, to yourself, where you go. And you really do need to step in. They're really saying you need to step into this and move beyond those ancestral patterns that, you know, we've always been told, uh, um, you, you know, work, you know, it can go back ancestral generation, work hard, then you're, uh, you know, work hard, then you can retire and have a happy life. Is that the case always? You could work hard all your life and due to circumstances, you don't have a, um, a happy retirement or you don't live to see your, your retirement. You know, the ancestral patterns that say you have to follow this certain path um, just because that's what your parents did, your grandparents did, your great grandparents' parents did, their, their parents did, you know. Do you have to take that path? Look at it from a high perspective. Look back. Was it of service to all those ancestral, to all those ancestors? Um, uh, you know, did it serve for their highest good and the highest good of all? If it didn't, then maybe it's time to actually break that that chain, that pattern. Take autonomy, authority for your um, being, where you are going, where you are going to steer. Um, your life now, not the patterns that have um, come from the ancestors, you know, and again, that, that could be ancestral patterns of um, domestic violence, alcohol, drugs, um, food, um, pleasing, anger, you know, it could be so many different things that's had this ancestral pattern, putting a hat on a table or not putting a hat on a table, you know, even the silly little things, look at it from the high perspective. Has this been of service to my ancestors? If it was, is it of service to me now? Or is it holding me back from stepping into who I am truly meant to be, who I am here to be, what I am supposed to create and bring to this world? So yeah, that's really um, all the guidance they give me this week. Fairly straightforward cards. Um, I'll show them again. Um, so we have uh, Lord, take charge with authority, take charge of your life, know where you are going, what you are doing. And to help you with that, you know, you've got Eagle, see things from a higher perspective, look at what is going on, where you're being guided, where you're being led, where you're being steered. And if it's not um, for your highest good or those around you, then you have the power. You can change that. An elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. It's an ancestral patterns, um, you know, that are keeping you stuck doing the same thing over and over again, which isn't for your highest good now. Take charge. You, you know, my whole perspective when I work is for you, is I am helping empower you to take charge of your destiny. I just guide you so that you come up um, with the uh, solutions and you actually take that power back because you are an autonomous being. Anyway, that was my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation and that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. And of course, if you do get a different perspective, then let me know either in the comments or message me privately. If you agree, let me know in the comments, message me privately. Um, you know, please follow me, uh, subscribe, like, share. Um, you know, if, if, you, if you like what I do, I'm more than happy for you to do that for me. Um, and yeah. And don't forget to um, check out everything that I do offer. Um, and especially with the training, I've got the Angelic Reiki training coming up. And then I've also got the Future Life Progression training um, in November, which I love. To, um, I love practicing, love teaching, same as Angelic Reiki, where you can go forwards and backwards in time and actually um, learn to take others, be certified to take others forward and backwards in time, 
which is absolutely amazing. Um, and of course, the guided meditation in the beautiful Oxley's Wood um, next Saturday. Um, and it'll be lovely to see you there. And of course, don't forget to check out my show Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday the 26th, is take sorry, on Sunday the 25th today, is taking place tomorrow on Monday the 26th. Um, and if you're watching later in the week, then watch the replay. It's 8 p.m. UK time, 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific and 3 p.m. Eastern. And my guest is, well, my returning guest is the wonderful, beautiful Sharon Lynn, who's going to be coming and sharing her knowledge and wisdom. So I'm really looking forward to that conversation because, as you know, it could go anywhere. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye.